I put my ear to the ground and found someone who may know the location of the Koinor diamond. Excellent. Heisen, my favorite. A man by the name of Cornelius Toti Button. Beer drinker. What? I can tell. He is apparently a friend of the royal jewel. How will we find him? He frequents a pub in the city of London Borough called the George. Sounds like the sort of man I know how to deal with. Don't be ridiculous. Fret not, dearest sister. I will take care of this one on my own. Come find me in Westminster when you have the information we need. What kind of name is Rook anyway, you barmy bastards? All right? Don't you fall behind. Hold here. On your orders. Not with the royal jeweler this evening. It's a shame to drink alone. Whatever it is you want from me, I'm not interested. What I am interested in is ordering another pint. I'll tell you what. If I can outdrink you, you tell me where the famous Kohinoor diamond is located. <laughs> you think you can drink me under the table? That's a lot to wage on a losing battle. I'll take that as an accepted challenge, then. Marky, two pints over here. Oi, my God, what happened last night? Well, I'll never make it back to the train in this state. I'll have to try to remember what happened. I know I was at a pub, but which one? seen the last of you when you sorted off to that shooting competition. The name of the game is... Shoot the bottle? Precisely. Can you do it? Can you tell me where the diamond is? You have to beat me at this first. or something. You're a good shot. 
better than I ever would have guessed. We're done with this pub, but not done for the night. On to the bricklayer's arms with you, Johnny boy. Follow me. It's Jacob. Who did what? Never mind, Cornelius. Just tell me where the diamond is. Someone spilled it. Some bastard spilled my beer. Listen. I needed the money. Beer. Fine. I'll find the fool that did this. Oh, blast. I've splashed myself. Oh, fuck me. Someone's drink? Why would I ever do such a nasty thing? Oh, Christ! Sarge, dwindling in number, but absolute terrors in this particular neighborhood. One for the books, or so I heard. Lots of sweat, blood, and tears last night. Those blighters can put on quite a show, walk away with full pockets from those games they do. Not good. I'm in trouble now. I was talking to that yarn spinning oak, Dickens, when I turned back to my drink, and it's all over the place. I bet you good money those evil blighters did this. Well, what about it? I hate those bastards. They love to terrorize me. You need to do something about them. You've got the wrong man. I haven't played a game of cards in the dog's age. <laughs> The pettiest thing someone can do, if you ask me. You have to have one ugly personality to do that, you do. Last night's game. Why I won that fair and square. If Cornelius is still going on about that, he deserves a kick in the mouth. His money is mine and there's nothing he can do about it. Shit! Oh, blimey! Like a me. Well, maybe I'll do it. There he is! Oh, buckhoot. Can't fight me like a real man! Skins and fists! Blimey! Let's get you home. I don't think you can stand. You must be joking. Your purse, drunkard! Give up your purse! Help me! What did I do to deserve this? Oh, 
Oh, Joseph, I'm so glad to have a friend to join me. This is my place. You're, you're a good drinker, you know. You might be better than me. I am. And never you forget it. Good night, then. Julia. But wait. At least I know where to find him. Button fool. How did you get up here? I walked you home, Jacob. Finally! Now tell me, where is the bloody diamond? Does this technically count as winning? All right, all right. It's in the Tower of London. Surprise! It's being held there until tonight's gala finishes, and then it will be shipped back to the Royal Jeweler for another cutting. Many thanks, Buttons. Now hold on right there. Keep your eyes peeled for trouble. Oh. 